right? But when you build yourself up continuously, I'm telling you, it, it shifts things. That addiction, you speak the word, you decree the word, it dries that root system up. I, listen, the, the, I'm all for all the aids we have to help us, but if you get in the word and you are determined to find that treasure, if you're determined and say, if the word says I don't need to stay messed up and I don't need to stay stuck in this situation, and the word says that I can overcome it, well, then I'm going to do what it takes because it doesn't just happen. There, there's a requirement on our end. There's a requirement. And so I know that there are things that I need shaken. I need shifted in my life. And I am, I am grabbing the word. You know, I, I have, if I only can remember how to work my, uh, which I will work it, my iPad. It's not working. I need a new one. But my, my Bibles, I, have my, I bring my different Bibles. They carry my bag. It's like, what do you have in this? I have all my different Bibles because I want to look it up in all the different versions because I want to get it in me. I, if I don't understand this thing and I'm looking up this word, well, I want to know what it all means. Now, for those of you who are technical, um, you know, look it up. And, and I do like it. I do look it up. And I love, I like holding my Bibles. All right? So I have my Passion. I have my Amplify, my New King James. I have my, my Message version. You know, I have it all. So that's why, you know, I'm also trying to keep my arms in shape. So it's twofold, you know? So many of us have been taken captives through our words. What are the words? What are you declaring? What are you speaking? We call those things, in Romans 4 it says, we call those things which be not as though they are. In other words, what is that thing that you are trusting the Lord for? What is that thing? Like, for example, I mean, we all want restoration in families, right? Well, I, people came up. People were praying for family members. We want, we want restoration in our finances, right? We want, there's many different things. God, there, there's gazillion scriptures. What scripture are you standing on? I've met with people, and I've asked them. I said, what, what is the word of the Lord to you? What's, what's God saying? And you know what I get? A blank stare. <laughs> I said, well, what scripture are you standing on? Um, I said, but well, do you know what John 3.16 is? <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. So, you know, it's not, it's not good. We are required to know the word. It, you know, and I've said this before. If this was your work manual, and your work manual said you're going to get 22 weeks off paid vacation, are you going to look through to make sure you know the ins and outs of what the book says about what you are entitled to? Right? I mean, so this is the same thing. I mean, and, and of course we do it because we love God, but I want to know what my legal rights are. I have a covenant promise with God. I ha he says that we can speak to our mountain and we can command it to fall into the sea. Does it happen overnight? Some does. Sometimes it does. And other times it doesn't. But through the adversity, you get stronger and stronger. Right, Roberta? You get stronger and you press through. Ro Roberta could have gave up on God and said, you know what? Forget this. I have experienced this thing and this thing and this thing, but I'm pressing through to find out what does the Word of God say about how I can overturn this situation. He never called me to walk in defeat. We, that's not in our DNA. What's in our DNA is to walk as a, a people that are a people of all impossibility. That's what's in our DNA. So um, let's see what my next scripture is. I have a lot of scripture here. So, so in Hosea 4, 6, in the Amplified, it says, My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge of my law where I reveal my will. So that word uh, destroyed means brought to silence. The next slide. So... What happens is when you don't understand your rights or what the word of the Lord says, your voice is taken away because then you walk in defeat. It says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge where I will reveal my will. So destroyed means brought to silence, but knowledge there means perception, to learn, to distinguish. In other words, to discern what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Because a lot of times you'll hear things, but then you have to just get, check your heart uh, by the Spirit and say, Lord, what are you saying to me about this? But if you don't have the promises of the Word in you, you don't know it. And that's how we develop our discernment. So the, uh, the, I have here um, the next one. You should have had the next one where it spoke about. All right, forget it. Um, so in Hebrews 11, 1 through 3, it says, Now faith is the assurance, the confirmation, the title deed of the things we hope for. 
being the proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality, faith perceiving as real fact what is not revealed to the senses. For by faith, trust, and holy fervor, born of faith, the men of old had divine testimony born to them and obtained a good report. By faith, we understand that the worlds during the successive ages were framed, fashioned, put in order, and equipped for their intended purposes by the word of the God. So that what we see was not made out of things which are visible. So, in other words, there's an invisible realm that, that that's what the word helps us to see, what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Our words, when we are decreeing things, when we are praying things, we're not to pray our problems, we're to pray the word. When we pray, we're creating, we're framing things. He's the, he's the architect, and we're framing what we're decreeing in the realm of the spirit. So you understand that the enemy is going to do everything he can to get you to walk in doubt and unbelief because he knows this overcoming, conquering power of God that's within us that causes his dunamis to break through all right so um i want to read to you well first of all do you all know what a title deed is i'm sure y'all do but it's a legal deed or document constituting evidence of a right especially to ownership of property so think about that in relation to our faith it's the evidence it's a legal deed you walk in faith the lord's saying listen i don't care what they're saying here's what my word says if i've given you a promise you are well able to overcome and do exceedingly abundantly above all i have gone through this and I've shared so many testimonies of standing even though I was scared even though it's it seemed like no way even when I never I didn't deserve it I told you about my job situations you know I wasn't a good employee at the time now I'm a good employee but I wasn't good at the time I I I just wasn't and so but but God then I got saved and then God said no 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 girlfriend you're gonna have to change your ways and so I did with God's help and God had mercy and favor and grace upon me and that's what he has upon you and me he's the God of all possibility that's who we are that's our DNA Listen, for those of you that have been battling and you've been stuck in a job situation or you've been stuck in a limited amount of finances, the Lord is saying to you today, and take this by faith, I am the God of breakthrough. I am the God, I am that ice breaker that will break through every hidden obstacle, every lie that's been holding you back. The Lord's saying, choose to believe me. Choose to decree the word. And I'm going to give you the, the directives and how to go about this. I'm telling you, this is not something that I am just speaking out of a book. I have lived this. And, it, and it's the truth of the word. The word shifts things. Yeah.